All right, very good question. So when investing in notes, the primary source of income for investors for us is the interest payment. We receive this from the borrower. The interest income is generally taxed at federal and state levels, and the interest income is reported on the tax return as ordinary income and is subject to income tax at the investors or marginal tax rate. So you also have to realize that capital gains are losses when selling a note as well. Capital gains occur when the note sells for more than the purchase price, while capital losses occur when sold for less than the purchase price. Capital gains and losses are taxed at the federal level based on our holding tax bracket. So you have to remember that there's a lot. That's why you have to get a really good CPA on this. And if the note is held for one year or less, any gains are considered short-term capital gains and they are taxed at the investor's ordinary income tax rate. And if the investor holds the note for more than one year, any gains are considered long-term capital gains and are taxed at a lower rate depending on the tax bracket. Once again, you need to get yourself a really good CPA to help you with all this. Hope that helps.